Hey, if you join the army, we'll, we'll change your damn life. Oh, sh for real? What I gotta do? Nothing. Damn. So the army just out here changing lives like that for the free? Goddamn right, detective. You know what I'm saying? Just get you a job, go to work, man. We're gonna make sure your teeth straight. You can see your kids go to school. What the f***? What about a car? You ever had a Camaro? Yeah. Yeah, we giving them out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh-huh, yup, you could be just like me. But anyway, any questions? Young 18-year-old child that don't know a f finesse when they hear it? <sighs> yeah, I just got one question. Uh, what about going to war? Oh, you ain't got to worry about that. It, it's so rare. It's so rare that people die in the army. It's so rare. So if I get a job doing finances, you know, I, I, I won't have to go to war? Nah, nah, you know. Unless it's like an all-hands-on-deck type of situation, nah. How often do them happen? It's so rare. It's so real. So this TikToker by the name of Farad points out something that I think we all should recognize, and that is the fact that military recruiters tend to be incredibly manipulative. Very often there's a lot of dishonesty about the way that they approach, especially young kids who are in high school and thinking about options for the future. Now, they sell themselves as a really awesome way to pay for your college, and as a job opportunity so that you get work experience and travel. But as a veteran, I can tell you that the harsh reality is, it's not all it's chocolate up to me. First and foremost is the reality that what the United States military does abroad actually is quite terrible. With all of the things that the United States is involved in around the world, the harsh reality is that the United States military is responsible for an immense amount of human death and suffering, where most of the people dying and suffering are innocent people. On top of that, there's just the dishonesty when it comes to things like education benefits. Like for example, if you have a really long tech school and it takes you a while to get settled into your job, it could be one to two years before you're even allowed to start college while you're in the military. And while they pitch it that they have a lot of tuition assistance, what they don't tell you is that tuition assistance will barely cover, if it even does, your college experience. Which means that on top of that, you might have to be using your GI Bill benefits. And if you're using your GI Bill while you're active duty, very often you're losing out, not getting the full benefit. All of this is to say that the reality is that there are a ton of veterans who try to go to college, who may succeed or may not in college, but ultimately very often will walk away with student loans anyway. Then there's a baseline manipulativeness that is I think, fully encapsulated in this headline. And that is the reality that one of the reasons why college is so expensive that one of the reasons why we gatekeep wealth and knowledge like this is because the United States depends on people needing to pay for college, people believing that college is necessary for a lifelong career, and then telling them that the only way to get that is to join the military. Quite literally, it is a poverty draft that brings people into the military where they're sent then overseas to other parts of the world where they inflict chaos and harm onto the rest of the world. So quite literally, it's poor people from the United States being sent to even poorer countries to cause chaos and havoc so that those countries are not allowed to form their own economic pathway and they are forced to participate in the United States economic system. And while many military recruiters will try to pretend that there's a ways to avoid being involved in the conflict, the reality is that every single job to some degree is going to be involved. It at some point is going to be serving the role of American imperialism. But on top of that, you have no control over where you get sent. They can send you wherever they feel like. So that could mean sitting in a cushy Air Force base in Hawaii, but it also could mean being sent into the middle of a combat zone in Afghanistan or Iraq. And all of this could obviously change overnight if a president decides that he doesn't like a particular country's economic policies. Then all of a sudden you can find yourself in a brand new country causing harm to people that you don't know, and on top of all that, you might not even get the education that you thought you were going to be able to get. Because believe it or not, it's actually very difficult to get your college degree done while you're deployed. And also remember that all the politicians that like to say that they care about veterans, ultimately, when it comes down to voting in support of veterans, they often do far too little. And all of that isn't even to speak about the rampant sexual assault and harassment that exists within the military. At the end of the day, as a veteran, I can tell you that I don't think it's worth it. And that the way that these military recruiters go about trying to get teenagers to join is incredibly exploitative and very often manipulative. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.